Hi everyone and welcome to our Tech Science YouTube channel. We will be talking about regular expression in JavaScript. Regular expression are powerful tool that can be used to search, match and replace patterns in text. They can be used for variety of tasks such as validating user input, extracting data from strings and more. If you're new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Oh. Welcome to Bit Science. Today's topic is regular expression in JavaScript. Regular expression are some pattern they follow some rules. Let's say this is a paragraph. If you want to search something, so with regular expression, it's very easy to figure out. Let's say if you want to find door in this whole paragraph, this will be very easy and searching. It will be at the end, at some position, you will. Mm, probably able to figure out but if you have it if you have a large sentence or it two three pages of sentence and if you want to find a number of dogs it can be very hard so let's see a few examples on regular expression and also we will understand substring methods how regular expression is helping so how to write regular expression so it is always recommend to use const so either you write in double quote or you can use slash or this backslash to tell that this is a regular expression or another way is writing new regular regular expression within that you put your condition what regression tells how it's this we need to understand some rules so let's understand few see this uh, chart this chart says some anchors, character classes, position, assertion. So these are groupy group and different form of regular expression. Let's understand two, three things in the beginning. If you want to find a word, let's say you want to count how many word word is there in this uh, whole thing, then use my slash w. W is means word. It's the alphabet. Actually, it's a alphanumerical. So it also contains a, a to small in, small a to a, small a to z, and also 0 to 9. If you said big W, it only means which is alphabet. So alpha which not alphabet. So it will contain all other character other than alpha. See this example. I have written right x within that. I have added some character. And uh, you can see this is the pattern. And we have G as well. So what is G? So in this chart, you will see at the pattern modifier. This is the modifier. You can see G means global match. I means case sensitive. We can also identify which, what is, what are the thing we are trying to figure out. After the slash, this means the opening of the red. You can use slash or you can use double quote. All are fine. First is bracket braces. This is the third bracket. Every background has different meaning. So this site should contain W and S. So what is W? W we understood word. It should also contain a uh, digit. S means spaces. You can see white spaces. Bigger S, capital S means not white spaces. So S is there. But we have another called, this is a carrot symbol. So if whatever is there in the carrot, you can see this uh, in the anchor tab. This is the starting of the line. So there is a difference about the carrot, where you place the carrot, it, the meaning it changes. So when you place between the uh, bracket, the meaning changes. So this carrot means not. And if you don't add any braces or any set or anything, then it understand start of the line. Let's decode this, what it says. It, it is saying that don't find any words or spaces. Then what is the remaining thing? We have special character. So in this file graph, is there any special character? If that, yes, then that would be very simple. So we have a match method, which uh, search the specific uh, regular expression. So how to write that? I will create another statement. Fund paragraph. This is the paragraph dot match. That is such. It will contain that that. The first occurrence. 
So this is uh, always let's find the first occurrence. We there are many other way to uh, search uh, infinitely, like keep on search. That is not here. So let's search the first occurrence here. So we will console this. To console, I have received dot because dot I am we are trying to figure how to replace any keyword. So we have found that part and we want to replace. Replace by method, it says to replace the this by, let's say I want to receive the dog to munch. So we have dog, the dog will be replaced. So if you just add replace, this is enough. We don't need to follow any pattern. So if you execute, you will see the dog has been changed. This is a very easy. The same thing you can also do with regular expression. How to do that? Let's see other statement. I want to search dog. This is for searchable thing. So it can be possible there will be multiple dog. I have just written simply dog and this is I. I am ignoring the case. So D in here is in spawn case, but we are checking for capital as well. So both will be checked. Whatever the regular expression you put that inside here. I want to change to break. Simple. So all the dog, wherever it is, it will be changed. So as terms, it also returns the position of the mark match. So say okay, we will create our form. You want to search B or the pretty push. These are easier example for digit. See what unbe basis means. We have quantifier as well. So how many alphabet you want? So if you add with uh, within unbe basis that that search for number of or count of that particular search. How many it should be appeared in that search? So I've added two. The two digit should be appeared in that. You can add star also how many you want even that also be be there. Let's understand some side sample patterns one here itself. So we have this first sample button called on letter number and hyphens. So this is very easy. You can understand it is set of value which have letter both one and capital cases, digits and hyphen. And it should be plus. Plus is what? You can see one or more means it cannot be empty. Understand the difference. Star means it can be empty, means zero or more. And plus means one or more. It cannot be empty. It should be more than it should be, it should exit exist. Plus is that is the mean. We have question mark also. Question mark is little different than star and plus. It says either empty or at least one. Go forward with different cases. Says how date has been uh, patternized here. So every date should have hyphen, right? This It can be a hyphen, it can be a stat. You can add anything. You can also add hyphen as well. Both will. So you have to make a stat if you want to add like this. Let's take this simple example which should always have slash when we are writing. So both sides should have slash in between which should have some uh, value. How many when all the value should be one digit or two digits? That's why either one or two. A is applied to near last one can have four digit. Check the email ID, which is very really important in terms of the right. So, although validate email ID. So, email ID contain serving host name, right? Before update host name, then after of update you get the win. So, before update you will see slash w and plus. So, slash w means that is alphabet and digit as well as plus. And plus means one or more. So, combining that, 
you have to uh, match at least the alphabet or any digit with as well as a hyphen. After at the date, you can add the domain name. Domain name can consist of a alphabet. And you can see we have also added a hyphen. Sometimes some domain has some hyphen, you can you use that. Just after that, you will see plus and question mark. So plus means one or more. And just after plus, we have added question mark. So this is optional. If that if you want to check more value, like let's say in this example, we have at least a alphabet. And after that, you have to uh, add more alphabet that you can add this question mark. That is unready. And after that, you can add dot. Dot is mandatory. And then you have the domain second, which will consist a range of alph alphabet. It can be within two to six of alphabet character. The shopping all spaces, empty spaces will be counted. Can we go this one? A dot I dot it. This is one email like Omar direct email dot com. This is one. We have a number also. We can have any sort of thing. Now I'm adding. We have to invalid number. This is special. I am giving special character also. Back to it. Let's say Yahoo dot or we call. Let's say which is correct uh, retirement. It should be so. You are getting it adding. This is one adding. This is second adding. And this are some different uh, uh, inputs you get in. Index is zero. Input. These are the input you have received. So only these are only. That's all for this video. I hope you learned something from this video. If so, feel free to explore the channel and check out some of our other interesting content. My name is Atit Dilnath and this has been Bit Science. I will see you again soon for the next video. Thank you for watching.